Hi, it's Mr. S, and today I would like to share information about uh, various linear equation forms, forms of uh, linear equations. A little bit. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna describe what a line is. Uh, I'm gonna show different types of equations of a line, and also I'll use an example in Desmos. All right, so here's a line um, description of a line. It's a collection of points, sometimes called or order pair. It's a collection of line uh, points. Sorry, it's a collection of points. So you have a bunch of points, and you make a line. The pattern is like it keeps increasing, decreasing at the same rate. So think of this points, dots, all that that has in right here. Um, you can think, you can see it's going down at its constant rate, like this much, or you can say it's going up this way. And some of the vocabularies that I would like to share are slope, intercept, and point. Slope is a tilt of the line, sometimes it's called, or sometimes you can say it's slanted or leaned, whatever. The, you know, it's how the line is slanted like this, or about this. And the way it's showing is, it's, um, it's the decrease of increase, sorry, increase or decrease of y to the increase of one in the x direction. So every time the the slope, or no, every time the equation changes one in x direction, how much would it change in y? Does it increase? I, mean, I, know, I know it says increase, but it could be decrease. So every time it changes in what x direction with unit of 1, how much does it change in y? Um, sometimes the slope can be um, determined by change in y over change in x. Sometimes some teachers say it's a rise over run. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But that's the slope, the, how the line is slanted. And next word is intercept. It's the, where, it's the point where the line meets x and y axis. X intercept is where the line meets the x axis right here. And the y intercept is the where the line meets y intercept. I mean y axis. Y axis right here. The vertical line on the zero. X axis is the line that's going horizontally through the zero. And the last one is point, sometimes called order pair, and it's usually in this form, x comma y, and within the parentheses. This x is the x coordinate and y is the y coordinate. That's all. Alright, so the first form that I'm going to introduce is the slope intercept form. It has a slope and it has an intercept, and that's why it's called slope intercept form. Equation looks like this y equal ax plus b. A is the slope, B shows the y intercept. Y intercept. It's often helpful, it's often used when you need a y value. Because if you know the input, the x value, calculate this part, the right hand side of the equal sign, and then you get the y value, the output. You can also do kind of like a activity like comparing the slopes with the same y-intercept, the b value, or compare the y-intercept with the same slope, the a, and think how the what the slope actually does when you change the slope, you know, or when you change the b, the y-intercept. Looking at the graph, you know, how does it change? Point slope form is the next one. It's in the form of y minus n equal a times in parentheses x minus m. N m n comma m is the point on the line, and the a is the slope again. 
and it's good when the point and or the slope is known. Compare the slopes, just like before, with the same point, or you can use a different point to create a equation. So, you know, students might have different points they chose, but it's still the same equation. Next one is the standard form. It's in this form, ax plus bx equals c. A have to be positive, and that's it. A and B and C, those capital ABCs, doesn't really have anything with the graph or any kind of relationship. It doesn't represent anything in the graph. These three, the standard, point slope, and the slope intercept is often seen or taught in the classroom and there is one more that i saw and i would just like to share it's called two intercept equation form is like this x over c plus y over b equal one it's equal one c is the x intercept and b is the y intercept i mean yeah b is the y intercept so if you know the two intercepts you can do it this way you know, investigating the intercepts might be something that the class that can do in the classroom. And then the two special types of equations, oh, too much, are the horizontal lines and vertical lines. Horizontal is this way. Y equal b. B is the y-intercept. It has the a. You know, the, the when you go back to the oh, slope intercept form slope intercept form it's y equal ax plus b but in this case in the special one it's y equal b notice that ax does not exist this is because the slope slope the slant is zero it's not slanted it's horizontal one more the vertical line it's x equals c and c is the x intercept in this case, the slope is does not exist. Now let's look at the decimals, and I will show you a couple of examples on this graph. So here are. Let me scroll a little bit more. Right, so we have orange line right here, and two dashed lines. Oh, this is the vertical line, so it's the the one that I showed just a few seconds ago. This is the vertical line, x equal whatever. In this case, it's x equal four, and the horizontal line is the y equal three. In this case, as you see, if you click any point on this line, this horizontal line the y value is always 3. So in the x1, it's always 4 on the x-coordinate. Wherever I choose, the x is 4. Now let's look at this solid line. And I already have an equation right here. y equal 2x minus 3. And that's the graph. Notice that 2 is the slope, so it's how many um, change in y with the 1x. So every time I change 1 in x, there are 2 change in y direction. So if I go 1 this way, it goes 2 up. 1 goes 2 up. 1 to x, 2 to y. And the minus 3 is the y-intercept. Next one is the that was the um, sorry point uh, slope intercept form and this one will be the point slope form. Notice that it's the same line but it's different uh, written a different way. It's point slope form. y minus 5 equal 2 times x minus 4 5 right here and 4 is the point and if I go 5 4 it's not in here but 
5 is here. Hmm? Oh, sorry, x is 4, 4, and then 5. Wrong way. x is 4, y is 5. 4, 5 is on the, wrong, uh, on the line. And the slope is 2 again. Next one is the standard form y minus 2x equal negative 3. In this case, if you see, oh, it looks like it's 2, but it's actually it's negative 2, so there's nothing I can do with the... It's not a slope. This negative 2 is not a slope. This negative 3 does not really represent anything, except you can say, in this case, it's a y-intercept, but not very helpful. Not always this happens. And the last one is the 2-intercept form x over something and y over something. Notice that it has 3 on the bottom. Oh, this way, sorry. Minus 3, minus negative 3. As you, if you look at the original version, it has a positive right here. Positive b. But instead, since we have a negative right here, the intercept is negative 3. You can say it's plus y over negative 3 if you want to. And right here, 2x over 3. It's actually x over 3.5, which is 1.5. I just rewrote it. I know, you can do like... It's 1.5, so it's 3 over 2. You can write it this way, but it's complicated a little bit, so that's why I changed it to 2 over 3, and then x. And all these four lines are in the same place, so it, because they're the same equation, they're just written in different ways. Right, in the end, the last well, not the last, but least. That's the end, actually. So, if this video was helpful, please like, leave a comment, and subscribe my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.